students today are participating in the cybersecurity competition called Cyber Patriot. Well, but it might have to get removed. Yeah, so sure. it, it, it involves two images, two virtual machines. One's Windows, one is in Ubuntu, which is Linux. Students are trying to defend the images. They're basically going through and finding errors that the users have made in order to fix the problem and harden their system, meaning make it safer so that they're less likely to get hacked, less likely to have things stolen. Points! Oh no, doing this in high school is like absolutely great. As a district, and I, like, like we're so lucky and I'm so grateful that I'm able to actually do this because I get to learn so many skills, so many things I wouldn't be, be, be able to know that, that, that I probably wouldn't know like un, unless I, I paid to like go to college somewhere. And so I feel like just being, having the ability to, to do something essentially for free be, be, because because the district pays for all this is something great. You learn so much, so much valuable information that you would like not learn anywhere else from, from doing anything else like this. Make sure that you look at the README. They emphasize that huge. The cool part about this is this is a national competition. There are about 5,000 teams across the country competing over a five-day period. The energy level, the excitement over doing the competition is awesome because they have a four-hour window. They have to complete it in that time period. They got to work together. They got to work as a team. A lot of soft skills are being developed as students work through these things. Uh, I think it's really cool because it gives us a chance to better our future because this on whatever we do is really a boost. Because we show our skills and uh, academic like learning through this, depending on how our score does. And even if not, we get a good score. We still participate in that and then try to grow. Students are learning real-world skills here. These are things that they can use at home. These are skills that will lead them into potential cybersecurity competitions or cybersecurity world. Um, if this is a potential career that they want to pursue, and it's something to put on the resumes. It's a, it's a it's a example of soft skills that business people are constantly looking for. I definitely want to do this for a career. Uh, I think it's really fun just trying to figure out like, it's like a puzzle. You're trying to like find the right pieces and then put them in the right places because you're like, there's so many different things that could go wrong or go right. This isn't a, a lesson that is above and beyond what I could do in the classroom. You know, so participating in this activity is definitely something that gets the kids to realize is this something they really want to do or not you know without actually pursuing that degree and, and seeing the challenges um, it also is teaching problem-solving skills a lot of our kids just give up too easily um, when they are faced with a problem this allows them to realize that they can solve problems as they come up to them